When you think of Christmas, you think of presents or hanging with the family or jolly old Saint Nick. But what about the thankless job of making the iPhone you asked for? No, not China. The elves. The elves don't get enough recognition. No merch, no thanks. Just get overlooked. Well, not anymore. I'm gonna shine a light on the elves and their life. Show you what being an elf is really like by making an elf simulator. In reality, me and my friend were just trying to make a Christmas game. I partnered up with my boy Kimmy Chi. He's British, but once you look past that fact, he's actually a very talented artist. Yo, Kimchi, say something British. Pop the kettle on. That was so British, I have no idea what that meant, bro. <laughs> He's making a beautiful game called Corlax Escape on Steam. Go wishlist that be ass. Bye, Corlax Escape. I'm gonna come over your house. And I'm gonna I had a vision for a toy building game where a kid would ask for a toy and you could build that toy however you wanted and send it off. But how are we gonna have a system where we could build whatever we want? I just thought, why don't we just make the object stick together? I opened Unity and I started prototyping to see if the idea would work. In the meantime, Kimmy Chi already had a ton of assets getting cranked out. He made a beautiful environment for our elf worker to be walking around. He even made a little cute mitten UI for whenever you pick up items. For this building mechanic, we had three phases. Phase one, we gotta pick up and drop the items. I found this tutorial online that lets me do whatever I want with whatever I look at. I recommend it. Phase two, we have to have objects stick together. So I assigned a script called Sticky to each object that I wanted you to build with. I think my sock might have that same script. If an object touched another object that was sticky, I just told it not to move. Piece of cake. Now we already got a pretty cool building system. I was able to build some funny crap with just this little mechanic right here. But now for phase three. I had to be able to score if you were building the right object or not. This was a pretty daunting task, but through trial and error, I found this way. On each toy part, I added a second collider that would be looking for a game object. I would drag in the object that I wanted it to touch. Then I would get all those objects together and calculate a percentage on how well you built that object. Elon Musk, once again, the offer stands. I will build a rocket ship with you. Kim Chi sent me all these assets and I started laying out the environment. I also traded out these boring gray spheres for cool snow spheres. And now the snowman's looking a little bit more legit. Once I got the snowman in there, I realized that you weren't able to get high enough to place the head sometimes. I added these cool ladders that you can move around to get higher up on your builds. Now that we knew the building mechanic was working, Kim Chi started grinding out some toys to put together. Kim Chi made me a robot. The robot looked pretty pretty freaking good and it felt really fun to build. I've built it like eight times. It made me realize that I needed a modular way to add toys into the game because that was hard to do. <laughs> I created a template object that had everything the toy part needed and then I would drag the toy model into that template object, make sure the colliders fit. I do that with every part for that toy. Then I would drag in the required parts for the scoring system. Rinse and repeat. We had us a little assembly line going, like a little game development factory. We had a pretty complete game, boys and girls. You had a good amount of selection of toys to build. A plane, a punching bag, snowman, train. And it was pretty fun to build, but it still felt like it was missing something. It needed some more spice. It needed some lore. I decided to make you a slave to Santa. Straight out of the womb, you get to work for the Elf Crusader. This was gonna be a cutscene for the game, but it got scrapped for time in your eyeballs. This newfound lore, ideas were going through our brains like clothes in a washing machine. We actually landed on having like four or five different endings for the game. A lot of these endings that we came up with involved crafting. It also involves Santa. While Kim Chi was working on a Santa model, I started on the crafting mechanic. Pretty much you would try to put the objects together like you would a toy, but once you finished the object, it would spawn a finished version of that object that you could use to do whatever you need to do with it. With this, I made a gun. Woo, look at that. A key to unlock a door that would lead to Krampus's lair. That was Kimchi's idea. And a way to escape through a trap door that is missing a handle. Let you decide what you do with that. By the time I got done with that, Kimchi was already done with the Santa model. He also made him in a little balcony where you could sit there and watch us make our toys and judge us. We also made the chamber that holds the demon of Christmas, Krampus. Kimchi was really excited about this idea and started modeling Krampus instantly. That was the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my damn life. I was really running out of stuff to work on. Even though that's not true, there's no game that doesn't have a main menu. Whenever you completed a certain ending, I wanted you to get a medallion. Then I wanted to display these medals in the main menu so you knew which endings that you had and which endings that you did. Kimishi cranked out 10 different medals for the game because we needed a locked variant and an unlocked variant for each ending. But this wasn't much of a main menu. We need options and a way to quit. So I made a main menu with the North Pole as a subject. But it was missing something. 
All that complete, I think it's time for our first play test, baby. I'm excited, or should I be? Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's going hard. Wait, we what okay? happened to where you get born? Can't grab anything. Uh, there you go, now you got it. Now, turn around, there's a- What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> he's not supposed to be out of there. Fuck off. <laughs> Santa, oh, well, we come back. Now, click continue. Don't do that. <laughs> Sorry. I'm about to spawn a ton of toys. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, oh my god. Oh no. So I'm watching. Oh, 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 oh. He did. Look. Oh, fuck. Hey. Nice. Let's we'll see if you get an S tier. S. Yeah. Into it? I think. Oh, I think it's broken right now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I have him on two times speed. I forgot. Don't click E twice. Oops. Oh, dude. <laughs> You wanna wait up there? Oh, oh whoa! Oh, dude, <laughs> yo, what is going on? You found some sort of- Whoa! Oh, <laughs> okay, he was fading. Oh, wow! Bro. Now grab the gun. Show Santa what's up. Is it E? No. Oh, no! <laughs> no! It's the worst. It's like you. With my list of bugs being as long as Santa's naughty list, I got to work. I realized that there was like no direction on what you were supposed to be doing in the game. I gave Santa a short monologue whenever you start the game. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho My new elf recruit! Are you excited to help boys and girls around the world? Well, you shouldn't be, because you ain't getting paid. Also made this cool instruction menu. Fixed a few more bugs and made it way more balanced, and the game was ready to be listed on itch.io. The link is in the description if you want to give it a shot. There's plenty still to find out about the game. I didn't spoil everything in this video. I'll try to get all the endings. Thanks to all of you that played the game. Thank you to Kimchi for being my boy and helping me model all this junk. And have a Merry Christmas, boys and girls. Ho, ho, ho.